Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Pepe Car 2 review today. So, before we get started, just going to go ahead and give him the quick dead eye chemistry style because that's what most people on Footbin decided to give the card. So I like to go for the majority just so I can see what's off and what's not off with the card uh, for specific things. So, with this Pepe card, guys, we're taking a look at someone that is six foot tall with high medium work rates, left footed, four star skill moves with a two star weak foot. So two star weak foot could present to be a problem from time to time, depending on how you want to play this card. Uh, for me personally, I actually want to play him on the get in behind cut and side instructions with Japes' formation. So I think it'll actually be really fun to try out. Um, in regards to his in games, guys, ooh, he does have the finesse shot trait. So it's actually very important. So with the dead eye chemistry style, a plus 15 for shot power and a plus 10 for finishing is going to be very, very important for you to fully utilize that finesse shot as much as possible, right? But he's got 90 acceleration with 92 sprint speed. Uh, shooting on the card for base card stats is at 83 attacking positioning, 80 finishing, 83 shot power with 80 long shots. So again, with a dead eye chemistry style, boosting the shooting stats as much as possible for those areas of the cards is going to be very important. Uh, passing on the card. 77 is pretty decent for passing. Uh, you're actually you actually have vision crossing free kick accuracy with him curve, but boosting the passing and the short pass department will definitely be very important too, just to make him feel more usable in game, of course. Uh, the thing that we're gonna be trying out in game obviously is going to be his dribbling because he is a player that is six foot tall uh, with 91 agility, 82 balance, 85 reactions, 83 ball control, 87 dribbling, and 79 composure. I think the composure is gonna affect the card a little bit especially with the height that he has and the dribbling that he has, but maybe it doesn't. We'll see what's up with the card in-game, right? Uh, physical on the card, he's got 84 stamina with 72 strength. So 84 stamina is pretty decent as well. So with the way that this team is set up, it's kind of attacking-oriented, obviously, but it's okay. Uh, we're going to be trying out the 4-3-3 for this formation. Do I have... The right players for a 4 3 3? Probably not. We'll play some players out of position. I don't have a lot of players in my club, obviously, because, you know, with the whole content that we had recently, I'd be surprised if I had any cards in my in my club, right? But with the way that this is going to be set up, we'll probably have Gareth Bale playing as the left back for now. We'll have Hector Bellerin off to the right side. Pepe is going to play as a right winger, right? So we're going to put him in the right wing position. Hyungmin Sun. Hyungman Sun will have off to. Uh, no, we'll use Hyungman Sun as a striker, actually. I think he'll play it perfectly. With, say, Maximin on the left? Yeah, I think that could be okay. Instructions on the team will be cut inside, get him behind for the wingers, and then the striker will be on false nine with a CDM on man mark, stay back while tagging cover center, while the fullbacks are on balance instructions. So it's susceptible to counterattacks, but it's a very fun formation to use. So, yeah, we'll get into a game. We'll see how Pepe plays, and uh, yeah, hopefully he's, uh, he's a beast. By the way, guys, uh, big help to you guys, man, with uh, with the player reviews and stuff. I still get messages on Twitter and stuff if people want me to review certain cards. I wish I could get everybody's accounts, but it does max me out at some point, so that's why I don't really get it from uh, from everybody. But I try my best, you know? I try my best. Hmm. Pep's actually playing through the middle right now for now. Am I actually on my 4-3-3? I am, yeah. Oh, there we go. Little dribble. Oh, I try to get that uh, that drag back off right there. His attacking guy was pretty decent to get into that position. If I was a little bit more aggressive, I could have actually made that uh, cross right there in that area. Yeah, so right there I went for the croquette and I timed it just right to get into that uh, space right there for that attacking opportunity. So you can see that when Zaha is attacking, obviously, with the cover wing instruction by itself, uh, he's... He's going to attack that middle space, right? So there's no point in Pepe, you know, cutting inside and getting behind in those areas. Cool thing with this card right now is the whole, like, concept you can work with with him and Bellerin. Two uh, pretty decent cards. I wish they did more Portuguese cards, but, uh, you know, they, they did a few. They did a few. Bur uh, Bruno Fernandes right now is, like, a million coins, but you know the vibes. You know the vibes. His dribbling is not that bad, boys. It's uh, it's okay. You could definitely feel it because of the the height that he has and stuff. Like for sure, it's never something that you can avoid. But it's not a it's not a nuisance, you know. Joe Gomez. 
It's so crazy how like meta oriented Joe Gomez and Veron are. I have an untradeable version of him on my team, but you definitely see the total difference with this card. So you can see that with Sun pushing to the sides here, Pepe actually moves into the middle position. Let's see what he does over here, actually. Okay. And then Sun goes back into position. And Pepe stays in that area. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to put stay back while attacking cover center for one of the center mids. Uh, reason being for this is because it's going to affect the way that Pepe moves across the pitch. Because Zaha is... Uh, He's okay in regards to being attacking oriented because he's medium, medium, right? And it's very, very noticeable in game. But uh, you could te definitely tell that uh, Pepe is not cutting inside, getting behind as often because Aha usually usually occupies that's his spot, right? So to do that. Yeah, once you get that finesse shot angle with Hyungman Son, it's a GG. That's why that finesse shot trait's so, so important. It's because of reasons like that, right? Um, so we'll put stay back while attacking cover center. Yeah, just stay back while attacking cover center. I just want to see if uh, Pepe does it more often. Because he's uh, he's lingering on the side constantly, which, again, is not a bad thing. Because what happens when that, uh, when that happens is that um, the fullback is always occupied by him. So it actually allows you to work with more space through the middle. Um, because the fullback is always tracking his run constantly. Yeah, you see how he starts to do it more often because of the way that the center mid is set up. Oh, that run was weird. Oh. That acceleration touch. I couldn't tell you guys what that is, man. I, could, I couldn't tell you, man. That was not me holding our trigger. That was strictly just left stick dribbling right there. I couldn't tell you, boys. There you go. You see how he, you see how it starts to trigger more because the Ha's not aggressively pushing up. He does it and then he stops. He does it and then he stops. You know. I might actually have to put a, a false nine on, uh, or have to take out false nine from Sun because when he drops into the midfield, that's also another reason why um, he won't cut inside, get him behind that often. Because if someone's always occupying that position, he he won't do it consistently. There we go. Sun. Cut inside, getting behind from uh, Pepe right there. In those situations, right, What one thing you can do when you have players that have this sort of base characteristic is you can actually tell your striker to get in behind drift wide because what happens there is that when you tell him to get in behind drift wide, it makes them push to the wide areas, so it makes your winger actually cut inside more often. So when you kind of get inside the 18-yard box on the sides... You can kind of make that uh, that small little pass from the uh, run that your wingers actually tend to make, right? So it's all about players replacing players from certain positions. So, but you can see immediately how Pep definitely moves better across the pitch when uh, Zaha isn't being always up front. Zaha's uh, Zaha's not bad to have as a center mid, but he's not like obviously that aggressive. His attacking AI is very like on and off. I think I said that in the review too, um, but. Yeah, base characteristics for players usually never change, so. That's the cut inside right there. Touch, finesse shot. Oh my god. Do you see what happens when people actually have the trait? How nicely they take those shots? <laughs> it's crazy, man. Oh, we timed that really well. I'll take the free kick for that, actually. Wasn't it Pepe that hit that free kick one time? I forgot which game it was, man, but it was a freaking belter. I think it was in the Europa League game, actually. Ooh, so I'm not really familiar with the distance, actually, for those curved free kicks, but uh, now I definitely am. When it's a little bit farther, you kind of have to put a little bit more to the middle, especially with the uh, free kick stats as they, as they are. Yeah, I forgot which game the free kick was in, man, but it was a beautiful free kick. Really well struck. I think he scored two goals coming on as a sub or something. Something like that. 
Ooh, I timed that uh, Coquetta really well. And it's not a foul. He actually touched the ball there. Wow, okay. Touch, finesse. Oh, that touch is a little bit rough. It's a little bit rough because the way that the ball is pushed forward. People don't actually look at those touches that often, but uh, it's it's a huge, huge reason for your players to uh, take more consistent strikes and whatnot. I will say he doesn't follow the cut inside, get him behind that well. He's okay at it. Let's say it's like a kind of like a 50 50, I would say. I try to shield in that very moment just to kind of like bait the penalty, but it didn't really work out. Um, I mean, you know, uh, the card is, uh, it's okay. It's it's a usable card, you know. Again, if this was like Gonzalo Gedge or anything like that, I'd be freaking out, so. But um, if you're an Arsenal fan and stuff, you want to kind of build that team. You got that Bellerin and Pepe link that you can now work with, which is pretty cool. But is he like that special? Like, obviously he won't be that that special, but he's fun to use. All right, guys, so final verdict on this Pepe card. It's definitely incredibly usable. Um, I wouldn't say he's special in any way, obviously. So with this card... In regards to the chemistry style, it definitely makes the most sense to give him the Deadeye chemistry style. I do think that his natural position being a right winger is definitely where you want to use this card the most. Because even if you don't have the get in behind instruction on the card and you just have the cut and side part on it, uh, I think it's definitely going to be very fun to use because of the fact that he does have that finesse shot, right? It wasn't really registering sometimes when I was actually playing the game, which is obviously very unfortunate, but... That's kind of like how the game is sometimes, right? But 90 acceleration with 92 sprint speed uh, is pretty decent. It's not amazing. It would be nice if it was like, I would say like a 94, 94 for base card stats. Uh, his dribbling uh, isn't the most responsive. And it was, it, it's, it definitely makes a lot of sense to his height and his dribbling stats before you even try out the card. It's one of those things that you can definitely tell uh, before trying it out. 79 composure was a little bit lackluster from time to time too. Under pressure in certain situations. But um, yeah, you know, it's a usable card, man. He's an Arsenal player that plays on the right side. So if you want to go for that direct link with him and Bellerin and um, you want to have some fun with some Arsenal players in your squad, definitely do so, man. He's a fun card to use, but, you know, mostly for sentimental value, I would say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.